This is Quick Clip 3.09, second semester, frequency and resonance. In this lesson, we talk about frequency, which is defined as the number of waves per second. We have two examples here. You can see the vibration at the bottom has far more waves than the vibration at the top. When they travel through that blue line, we can calculate the number of waves per second that pass through that point. The top one had three waves pass across that blue line in, in 1.5 seconds. To calculate frequency, we take the number of waves and divide it by time. So we have three divided by 1.5 seconds, which equals two waves per second and the unit for frequency is the Hertz, abbreviated here as HZ. The bottom vibration had six waves pass through that point in 1.5 seconds. Calculating that, six divided by 1.5 equals four waves per second, or four Hertz. <clears throat> here we have an example of how frequency will change the way we hear sound. The top one has a lower frequency, so it's going to have a lower pitch or a deeper sound. Here's an example. <clears throat> the bottom vibration will have a higher frequency and a much higher pitch. You might want to lower your volume for this one. So you can see that frequency has a dramatic difference on how we hear that vibration. Next, the lesson talks about something called natural frequency. If we were to drop all three of these objects, a drum cymbal, a coffee cup, and a wooden spoon, they'd hit the floor and they'd vibrate, but they'd all sound different. The vibrations would be different and this is their natural frequency. All objects have their own natural frequency. The things that determine the natural frequency of an object is the object's size and shape. For instance, these three flutes, although built the same, have different lengths and different sizes so it will sound differently it will have a different natural frequency the bottom one will have a much lower frequency and the shorter one the top one will have a much higher frequency <clears throat> another example of how size and shape will change the natural frequency is the wash tub bass which is a one string inst instrument that you see on the right if you tighten the string, it'll make a higher pitch. If you loosen the string, it'll make a lower pitch. Another example is playing a guitar. When you put your finger on the fretboard, as you see there, what you're actually doing is shortening the string and changing the shape of it and reducing the amount of string that's being vibrated. So that's going to change the pitch of the vibration of that string. So natural frequency is dictated by shape, size, and length as well. <clears throat> Finally, we talk about resonance. Resonance is the pheno phenomenon where objects of the same natural frequency will make each other vibrate. So for instance, if we have these two tuning forks and they are exactly the same and have the same natural frequency, if we tap one and make that one vibrate, those vibrations will travel through the air and affect the other tuning fork and it will cause that one to vibrate the same. So if you have two identical tuning forks, if you tap one, and it makes a sound, the other one will also make the same sound. 
However, if the two tuning forks do not have the same natural frequency, when we tap one, the vibrations will travel across, but the other one will stay silent and not vibrate. This is resonance. This is an example of resonance. Here's another example of resonance. <clears throat> And I'm sure you've experienced something like this where you're pushing someone on a swing. When they're swinging, <clears throat> you, don't, you give them a gentle push and keep the timing of the swing consistent. And the person is going to get higher and higher and higher. You don't have to keep pushing really hard. You just have to stay in rhythm and keep the natural frequency of the swing. And the swing will get higher and higher.